Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, today I will try to do kind of a wing pour and I put my cup already here and I will pour here because I think uh, that I get uh, a nice um, effect with this uh, I watched uh, Julie cuts I don't know two years ago or something that she did something like this but not uh, on the cup uh, and I will try to do kind of similar thing I just hope that I will not have too much paint uh, I will list all the colors in the description box so you can check them there uh, to see which colors I will use if you will like this pour we will see how it will work let me bring you like this again and I will just start pouring I don't know if I have enough paint at all. Maybe I will add just another layer real quick. Oh, so some black and copper and this light blue. And 
dark blue and the Windsor blue. I don't know. I will just add some white for kind of flow extender here. just to help my paint. Maybe I should do this at the big, very beginning. I will Oops, put this down now because I don't want this white to push the paint. more than it should. I will tilt it so most of this white will gone, I hope. have gallery wrapped canvas so I, I have something in there a second a hair or something what is this yes it was a hair I have to cover my sides so I will turn it around because otherwise you will not see anything. Let's go over the edges here a little bit, not too much. Here, okay, I don't want to lose all of this pattern here, but obviously I will. I 
think that it was a mistake to add another cup because I like this pattern and I don't like this pattern here. So what I will do, I will go once more. And now I have a lot of paint already here on canvas, so it will not be a problem with sliding. And I will do a little different. I will start with this dark blue and copper and light blue. Windsor blue and I will add some white here in between. I will not use black this time because this uh, navy blue it's, it dries really dark so it's almost black. Okay, so let's grab one cup again and let's try again.
think that I like this much more. And because I already have <laughs> quite some a lot of paint here, it will be easier to manipulate and cover this uh, whole thing and keep the patterns that I like. So I didn't add a lot of. Um, copper but still I get maybe a little too much for my taste a little too much copper I don't know let's see just a second maybe I should change my angle a little bit that you will see better now when I will tilt this I hope that this is okay of paint I have to open up this a little bit back to the middle and for this side I want to tilt some of this copper off something A second and wash my hands while I'm thinking. And I have to do my corners now. Sorry if you don't see this. My 
hands are shaking lately. And these sides here. So let me see. I think that I kind of like it and maybe I will just leave it like it is. Maybe just a little bit. I have some blobs in one of my paints because I have some weird lines here, but I can't do nothing about it now. But now I really like it. Maybe I should even have my camera when, where I have it most of the time, but I wanted you to see this paint flowing part. Wow. And I, I'm really happy with this painting have to say just okay without a glare I'm happy that I didn't get this muddy middle I have some a little of mud but not too much uh, where are these lines that are not a little bit here but you see there are some chunks or something I will but if I will try to get them out now it will not be okay so I will just leave it like it is I like a little of this copper here and I really like this, it looks like you watch under water or something, see, just beautiful, I love it. So, I think that it was worth it to do it twice. I will link a video to Julie's video too in my description box uh, if you want to see her hers <laughs> uh, her video that inspired me for this one and see you on the next one bye